what we are doing today is we are giving this step a shell. We're going to use the same laminate flooring that I uh, just did with the uh, screen and porch. I'm going to cut that to size and I want I want sharp angles at the end. So it's, I don't want uh, an exposed bare uh, laminate flooring. So that's what we're doing today and I think it's going to look good afterwards. So let's uh, no time to waste. Let's get to it and see what we can do. Go this way. There we go. Let's, this gets a straight cut. So this is the final product. That looks so much better. I did a botch job on that, but you gotta learn sometime. good way to 
test out if flights work is to use a power inverter. Instead of having an extension cord, you could just use this. I'd say it's time to clean that. <coughs> Alright, so I gotta refilm this now because the memory card glitched out. I am glad that I was able to use the tools that I did. I used the jigsaw, two hammer drills, the brad nailer, the leaf blower, the table saw, uh, the one plus uh, 10 inch miter saw. This was a, a little adventure. I haven't worked on anything in the house for a little bit besides uh, the lawn. And so it was nice to get that done. We've been aching to get that flooring in for over a year now. And my wife's happy with it. I'm happy with it. It turned out good. I got rid of that ugly step and I put a shell around it. I, I botched that up, but it's okay. I gotta learn. I gotta learn uh, how to build stuff, you know, through trial and error. So I'm learning uh, because I do want to build a shelving unit in there. I got still got a lot of work to do in there, and so uh, so yeah, everything's good. So uh, the next video that's gonna be coming up is the drill bit war. Then after that, we're going to have a head-to-head -head between the Tech uh, Life Hammer Drill and the Ryobi Hammer Drill. This is going to be good because when the memory card glitched out, this one actually performed it just as well as this one did when it comes to uh, uh, drilling in uh, small holes into the concrete. But I do have a big uh, hammer uh, drill, drill bit right here. So we're going to put this to the test in between the two. So we're going to see which one does that better, but that's in a future video. That is the work for the day on the screen and porch. Uh, yes, I'm glad I was uh, able to get that done today. The next thing we're, we're going to do in there is we're going to get some, uh, some wooden roll down blinds and it leave the, the top rectangle windows, uh, exposed. And it makes a big difference uh, of how it used to be, which is this, compared to how it is now. So, uh, so yeah, it's it's awesome to get that done. So that's pretty much it for this episode. There's a few more things that I still got to do for the lighting situation because I got to turn that uh, light up there into an outlet and take off that uh, change the box, pretty much. So we're gonna do that in a future video. Uh, I was able to use the Ryobi stick vac in there because that is. That's why I got it, to do, take care of all of our carpet, because it's quick, easy, the battery works uh, well, and it lasts all long enough. 1.5 amp hour battery in there isn't big enough to do a thorough job for that size of a, of a carpet, but a uh, 3 amp hour battery or more is does a fantastic job. So, I was able to get that done, and it looks awesome. It looks awesome. So, that's pretty much it, and like I said before, I am going to be buying... Uh, other brand kits for versus videos during the winter DeWalt Milwaukee Makita uh, Whatever I get from tack life and so uh, and so yeah, it's gonna be good It's gonna be fun. So subscribe to the channel hit the bell button if you want to be notified for my future videos or when I post Which is a lot by the way and uh, and yeah, but there are this channel is changing and evolving So if uh, I cannot stick with 100% Ryobi uh, forever I have to bring other brands into this channel. You know, it, uh, this channel can't grow if all I'm using is one brand. And so to grow this channel, I have to use other brands. Well, Dave Nicholas, thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.